We are in the island of Shirka. The beautiful island of Shirka. So we are enjoying going this kayaking. Oh, there's a crab in there, Milachko. Crab, crab, crab. Are you looking for the best way to explore the tropical gems hidden in Shargao Island without stress, worry and spending way too much of your time planning your trip? If your answer is yes, then watch this video. In this video, we will do a review of one of the most popular tours in Shargao, the Grand Land Tour. We will tell you why we like particularly this company and why we would definitely suggest it to anybody. We have a special bonus for you at the end of the video, so keep watching. This is not a sponsored video and we get no kickback for recommending this company. It's just our way of saying thank you for the great time we had and helping others to make the best of their vacation in Chargao. The coconut mountain view is a place where you can see thousands of coconut trees from above. It's said to be one of the most Instagrammable Shargao tourist spots, so it's not a surprise that it is the usual backdrop of every blogger who visited Shargao. Looking at the coconut treetops give you a truly tropical feeling. You can still see some damage from the hurricane a year later, but it is slowly coming back. The viewing deck is right off the main road, so don't expect anything fancy, but make sure you ask your tour guide to take you some cool pictures. Your next stop will be the Makupunko Beach and Rakpu. There is an entrance fee of 125 pesos, but that is covered in your tour package. Unfortunately, the beach took a big hit when Hurricane Odette hit Chargao last year. It will take some time to recover. The palm trees at the beach have been largely destroyed, but you will still find spots worthy of some great pictures. By the way, right here was a resort before the hurricane, now completely gone. Since you will be going with a group tour, you do not have to worry about timing your visit to the high or low tide. You will see lots of people blogging about not being able to get to the actual rock pool because there was a high tide. The local tour guides will know when the best time is to come, so that is one worry that you can take off your list. So this one, we call this one in our place Tarokog, so we eat this one, so we use knife for this to remove uh -huh. this from the rocks uh -huh. and then we gather it, this one, it tastes like? It tastes like meat, <laughs> of it course, like meat? it's delicious. Bring your water shoes because the rocks are slippery and sharp, especially if you plan on cliff diving. The water in the rock pools is crystal clear and while not the warmest, not terribly cold either. The colorful play between the rocks and the turquoise blue water is truly magical and offers unparalleled opportunities for the most Instagrammable pictures on this tour. The head organizer Kuyanoi and his assistant are great photographers and will take amazing pictures for you. You will have enough time at the rock pools to do even few jumps or go for a swim. So make sure you bring your swimwear and towel. Don't forget to ask your tour guide to also take some pictures for you at the remaining palm trees at the beach. You can do some nice poses there without any crowds. I believe we spent at the Makupunko beach and rock pools at least one hour. This was enough time to enjoy the rock pools, 
take pictures and even have a small snack at the local restaurant. You can buy a small refreshment at the restaurant located right at the entrance to the area. Makupunko Beach and Rakpuls, you will head for lunch, which is included in your tour price. It is simple buffet lunch, but it is pretty good and filling. You will also have a little bit of time to check out the area and buy some local snacks if you like. After everybody finishes their lunch, you will walk just a few steps towards the river to take a long tail boat to the Sukba Lagoon. If you want a great view, try to get to the boat first so that you can sit in the front as we did. It's a nice ride with the beautiful nature surrounding you from all around. Once you arrive at the Sukba Lagoon, you should grab one of the tables to keep your stuff there. It's about 150 pesos, but it's well worth it. You will not have to worry that someone will walk away with your things. The best thing to do at Sukba Lagoon is the famous jump from the Sukba Lagoon diving board. The diving board is about 5 meter high and has pretty epic backdrop. It is definitely not the most thrilling leap you will ever take, but the scenery absolutely makes up for that. It was honestly my first jump in place like this ever, but it was fun. It took my honey a bit longer to psych herself to do it, but she finally did and did not regret it at all. Besides taking the plunge, we also suggest at least renting a kayak and going for a ride. The kayaks are about 100 pesos for an hour and it's well worth the price. You can explore the entire area and take nice pictures at the same time. Make sure you ask your tour guide to take pictures for you as you are jumping and canoeing. There's a major collision going on here.
We spent at Sukba Lagoon approximately one and a half hours, which was plenty of time. You can take some cool drone shots as well, but I did not have good luck getting a good satellite connection, so I was afraid of flying anywhere further from the deck. Your next stop will be the famous palm tree swing on the Masin River. This is a very popular photo spot and if you come during the prime time you won't have that much privacy. We got there actually during the sunset so it was pretty good timing. While it was a nice place to take pictures, we did not find it that special. We much preferred the Makupunko rock pools and Sukba Lagoon for the Instagram worthy photos. I guess is that the typhoon destroyed a lot of the natural beauty in the area, so it might have looked a lot better before, but see for yourself and make your own judgement. Once you are done taking your pictures there, they'll take you to a small market which is in our opinion the best place to buy souvenirs in Shargao. So make sure you bring your cash with you. They have a lot of things, t-shirts, hats, magnets, just name it. And the prices are pretty good as well. You will have a hard time finding a better place to buy your souvenirs without making a special trip somewhere. So take advantage while you're there. want to taste fresh mussels, you will get your chance there. Just before you go back to the van, you will pass by a small stand right on the Masin Bridge. Okay, there you can buy time. for a few pesos humongous mussels and eat them raw right from the shelf. Don't ask me about my personal opinion as a healthcare provider though. Indeed, I personally passed on that gig. However, my honey did try it and she actually liked it. So here is the bonus. The last adventure on this tour was totally unexpected. The head organizer Kuyanoi invited the entire group to his home for a private fiesta. Yep, private fiesta. That was my first time trying the local delicacy, the lechon. It was truly one of a kind experience and I think that speaking for all of us in the group, very kind gesture. While we can't guarantee you that you will be as lucky as we were, that is just to show you how hospitable and personal this tour company is. We will review our island hopping experience with a different company in our next video. But all we have to say at this time is that it was day and night. We wished we booked the tour with these guys as well. I'm sure we would have a lot better experience. So is the Grand Land tour worth it? Well, in our opinion, absolutely. If you want to see the top attractions in Shargao in a stress-free manner with the guidance of local tour guides who will treat you like you are their extended family, 
take beautiful pictures for you and give you an amazing Shargao experience, then we really cannot recommend anything better than this tour. And hey look, if you like any particular place and want to explore it more, you can always rent a motorcycle and come back the next day if you still have time. The tour was truly amazing and far exceeded our experience. It definitely gave us a great overview of what Chiargao is about and we are really happy that we did it. So for us, the tour gets 5 out of 5 stars. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please like and subscribe and we will see you in our next video.